Okay, let's see if we can uh, do this in three minutes. We are going to activate Octane, and in this, um, we're going to import a VDB, convert it to a proxy, and give it a little animation. So I'm going to start my render real quick. Uh, All right, so uh, I made a little VDB inside of Embergen. I'm going to open up the GUI, and I'm going to right click. It's small because it's still on a 4K monitor, but I switched it. I'm going to import a volume, pick something that's got uh, uh, some character to it, so at least a little size so you can see some flames. I'm going to click on it. Top right-hand side, we're going to assign new volume animation. We're going to add files. I'm going to add all the files. Uh, I've got 300. Good for me. All right, and hit OK. Now let's do a little quick edit on this. Uh, I know meters is wrong, but we're going to fix that later. Let's do uh, density, flames, and flames, 20,000. And OK. Again, I know the scale's wrong, but we can fix that. Now, right click, save, hit, skip this, hit OK, save it wherever you want. I just did as Orbix flames, hit OK. Oh, I don't need that. Cancel. Now you can delete it and we can jump back into our Unreal and Octane import scene as proxy, select it, save it. And then I've already done that, which is down here. Now I am importing it into the scene, drag and drop. All right, we've got our flame. We have nothing actually. So let's, uh, Let's change our sequencer, give it some, some time. Not our sequencer, that's our Unreal timeline, or Octane timeline. All right, so it is all sorts of crazy big and all sorts of wrong. So we're gonna set our scale to 0 0.01, which I already knew, and our rotation probably to negative 90 is left. Oh my God, where'd it go? Oh, there it is, okay. Now, we're going to do a little bit of animation. So I'm going to bring it up until I can see it over in front. Ah, so beautiful. Okay, and I've got a little bit of a sequence already set up. Uh, when I say a little bit, I mean hot garbage, but good enough for here. Um, we are going to, this is the animation. You Just a little to the right. The boxes are there so you can see the transition. I'm going to click on the Orbix file. Right click down here, we're gonna add actor to sequence and we've added a flame. So, I'm gonna set our keyframe, S to set the frame, then I'm gonna move it all the way over. Uh, that is not how you do this. I'm gonna keep it there, <laughs> move my timeline, and then I'll uh, move the Orbix all the way over. Now, it's on the same key, hit S, you could check it by jumping in here and then sliding it to, let's say like 150 frames. So at the end, we can kind of see what it's gonna look like. So it's actually gonna go big and then back to small by 150. We can't see anything, but what we can do is we can export this sequence. So go ahead and render movie. We're gonna render it as an Orbix scene. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and then VDB movie frame two, cool. And you'll go ahead and, let me move this over so you can see it. We're gonna capture movie. What that's gonna do is it's gonna combine the two together. So as soon as it, um, there's a quick delay because it's exporting. So my microphone right now might be sounding like hot garbage, but as it's exporting, it's gonna put the frames of the two together and then create its own. So. Now that it's exporting, you'll see that we're getting both translations and the flame is progressing. Now, it's not rendering because it's only basically getting one sample as fast as it possibly can to capture the data, but you can clearly see both are animating together. All right, that is how you put it together.